Hello everybody and welcome to my channel today. We're going to be unboxing the Illumicrate May box. I am so excited. Forgot this hadn't come yet. So when I saw it, I was like, did the June box already ship? But no, it's the May box. I to again, can't keep track of my book boxes. I get too many of them. Don't be me, okay? <laughs> So let's just jump right into this unboxing. First, we have the spoiler sheet on top. What lies beneath May 2023? I love the colors. The royal purple with the blue is just so pretty. I love that. I actually don't remember what the book is supposed to be too. I always spoil myself for the book so I don't like double buy them, but I can't remember what this one is. First item, oh my gosh. Okay, this is, I'm guessing the luminaries. I feel like this looks like the luminaries. It says Lumicrate the Halfway Plant Pot. So we have 11, one, this has gotta be the Luminaries. I don't know what any of that stuff means because I have not read that book yet. <laughs> if it is the Luminaries. This thing is super heavy. Okay, let's not break the thing that I just got. Oh my gosh, this is cool. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Okay, so it looks like it's just the design from... This is literally so happy. <laughs> looks like it's the design that was on the box. This is so neat. And then, yeah. So it's got a really cool shape to it. Where it's actually, yeah, you can see it. It's wider at the bottom than it is at the top. Okay, hear me out. <laughs> hear me out. I kill plants, okay? I... <laughs> I am notorious for killing plants, guys. Um, soup. <laughs> I think you could put soup in here. Like, there's no holes or anything. This is co could totally be a mug. This, this is... <laughs> guys, I can't, I can't keep plants alive. I guess the, the purpose of this, I feel like, would be to, like, make a succulent thing or put a cactus in here would be really cool. But I think soup would work just as fine. <laughs> So, I don't know. I'll let, I'll update you guys eventually in a future video if I put uh, a cactus or I put soup in it. I guess technically you could do both. Like, not at the same time, obviously. It's a weird day already, guys, okay? So that's why my mood is a little funny today. Next item, we have something in a little pouch. Metal bookmark inspired by Witch King by Martha Wells. Oh, I think I remember what book it is this month. <laughs> that's no spoiler at all, right? Oh, what the heck is this thing? What the heck? Okay, hold on. <laughs> this is wild. Is it like a whale inside of a snail shell? What is happening? And then there's obviously a boat. And then I don't know what that is. And then you have this, which is a heart with something in the middle of it. A moon? Oh, it's like a pearl. Very interesting. I love the colors. That's interesting. I really like it. I like metal bookmarks. And I like how it's like see-through in places. That's really pretty. So that's gorgeous. It's confusing me, but it's gorgeous. <laughs> Next item. Oh, the light keeps going out on me because I'm filming this later in the day. We have some sort of fabric item. This looks like, oh, we've had one of these before. It's like a little tote thing. I like these, these are really cool. Wishes are false, hope is true. Hope makes its own magic, Lainey Taylor. Those are teeth. I'm assuming this is Strange the Dreamer because of the city, it looks like the city of Weep in the background. It's pretty, I love the colors. I don't know, this could be, what is it? A, what is it? A Daughter of Smoke and Bone? I don't know. This might be A Daughter of Smoke and Bone. Because of the feather? I, <laughs> I haven't read either series, okay? I own both series, but I, I don't, I have not read them. It's really pretty though, but it's one of those, oh, there's a little design on the inside. It's one of those little, like, things. I put books in here. It's just a little bag. And then here's the design on the inside. I feel like it's a daughter of smoke and bone. I don't, I'm struggling, <laughs> I'm struggling. But anyway, and that's like the bottom. So I just tend to put like books and stuff in here. I like these. Next item, just feeling around blindly for it. Oh, here's something. Ooh. He was a paper moth in the dark and she was a light. So this is a pop socket. 
and it's like one of those metal, pretty metal pop sockets. Oh, the stupid light going out in the house is really not helping the situation. So that's going to be kind of hard to see. But you can kind of see it. It's also because it's just like silver and black. So it's generally pretty dark anyway. So it's pretty though. It's one of those death moths. And I don't know. The only time I ever see death moths is um, Sounds of the Lambs. But that doesn't scream Sounds of the Lambs to me. But we'll see. And that was all items. I went through the items way faster than I thought I did. <laughs> I always forget it's only like four items now instead of like five, but I think I feel like Illumicrate was always four items. I just keep thinking they're five. Okay, so here is the book. It is Witch King by Martha Wells. It's the same author as the Murderbot series, which is really exciting because I read a couple books in the Murderbot series. I would like to start over and continue reading them, so I am very excited to see what a full length novel by her would be like. And we've got some beautiful purple sprayed edges. Both of them are block color on there. And then we have stenciled edges on this side. Yeah, they're beautiful. I almost have like tangled vibes from them just because of like this flower design for some reason and the purple, obviously. But that's really pretty. And I think it's just the regular cover, I want to say. But it's really nice. I love, I love the feels of these books. They're like that... Um, Te like suede I don't even know what they're called suede matte texture thing I love it okay so opening it up okay okay I see what we've done <laughs> I see what we've done here first we have a foiled gold foiled cover which is so pretty I know who you are the demon the mortals call king of the witches do you promise revenge that's an awesome quote that is so cool very excited about that and then the inside. Now I get where the bookmark has come from because there we have it. That is a whale with a shell on it. Okay, sounds pretty cool. I was about to say, I'm definitely gonna be using this bookmark with the book. That is so cool. So I'm excited to read it while using the bookmark. So that's gorgeous. Whoever did that artwork is amazing. I wish I could draw like that. And then on the back, oh, we also have a different, oh, this looks cool. She looks like a succubus, the uh, bad guy, maybe. So that looks like a probably main character and maybe our main villain or romance even. And we have a giant snake over here, which would cause my husband to fling the book across the room probably. But that's so cool. Ugh, whoever did the art is just, like I said, so impressive. Oh, then we have the side. That's gorgeous too. That definitely seems more special. Yep, and it has the Illumicrate insignia at the bottom. So you know that they did it. That's funny. Okay, love it. I think this is a gorgeous edition. We also have... Signed limited edition published in association with Illumicrate. And then we have a gorgeous... Uh, author letter and I love the PS. PS, I recently finished that Murderbot novella. It's called System Collapse and will be published soon. <laughs> that's really funny. Okay, that's really exciting. Anyway, really like that. That's really cool. Let's talk about what the book is about. After being murdered, his consciousness, dormant and unaware of the passing of time while confined in an elaborate water trap, Kai wakes to find a lesser mage attempting to harness Kai's magic to his own advantage. That was never going to go well. But why was Kai imprisoned in the first place? What has changed in the world since his assassination? And why does the rising world coalition appear to be growing in influence? Kai will need to pull his allies close and draw on all his pain magic if he is to answer even the least of these questions. He's not going to like the answers. Oh my gosh. I wasn't expecting that. I really, for some reason, was expecting... I'm just so used to reading books with a female main character that I wasn't expecting a male main character. So that's really cool. I'm excited about that. That sounds really good. I feel like you don't need much more than that in an explanation of a book. So let's talk about the spoilers that were in there. Hope is magic book organizer designed by Fez Inkwright, daughter of Smoke and Bone. I hate at least I knew it was in the family of Lainey Taylor, okay? And I know, it's, I know it said her name, but at least at least I said it. The Halfway Plant Pot. <gasps> Designed by Anna, this plant pot is inspired by House of Hollow. I love that book. 
can be used for so many things as a plant pot or even a place to store your pens. These hollow places. I gotta think about this one because I, I just read this and I did not immediately think of these hollow places. So I'm very curious. I'm gonna have to go back and read some of it to see what the sigils are for. That's really interesting. We also have paper moth phone grip designed by the bitter season, inspired by the whispering dark. Shell whale metal bookmark designed by Danielle and is inspired by Witch King. So our featured book comes with bonus content, stenciled edges, and paper artwork by Isabeau Backhaus Art, different front and back, foil design on the hardback, and is signed by the author. So cool. <laughs> so cool. I love the artwork on that. Favorite and least favorite item. I would say my favorite item would have to be the plant potter. I really, really like it. It's really cool. It's really, really pretty. Second close is is the book, the book holder. I really, really liked this month's items like a lot I think it was really really good least favorite would have to be the phone holder just because I already have one <laughs> but I am gonna save it because they inevitably go bad and you want to replace them or you just want to change so very exciting but in reality I, I don't have a least favorite item I liked everything in this box okay next month's theme we have June night and day I already know what the book is because I actually used to be a part of this author's Patreon because I love their artwork. They're also an artist. So I think it's really cool that they finally got their book out. Our feature book of the month, if you don't want to know, they spoil it now. So I feel like it's not a spoiler. The Sun in the Void by Gabriella Romero La Cruz. And our Lumicrate edition is signed by the author and features an exclusive cover, digitally printed edges by Chatty Nora, and a paper artwork by the author. I told you, she's a gorgeous artist. And foil embossing on the hardback by Chatty Nora. Our book of the month is fandom neutral and all items are inspired by the duality of night and day. That is so cool. This month's box will include a set of shoe charms. That's neat. That's fun. That's different. Okay, that was everything that was in the box. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a great time. I loved everything that was in here. Super exciting about it. <laughs> really excited about the book. I can't wait to read that. And make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss any unboxings. And make sure you guys comment down below what you thought about the box, what you liked, what you want to see in the future by Illumicrate. And make sure you like the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.